welcome class 5 in your science class and this is your revision as we are going through the chapters uh, revision so today we will uh, revise the chapter number 3 um, that is safety rules and uh, <coughs> your safety rules so uh, we will uh, go through the safety rules safety and the first step so uh, we should have to remember that we should be always alert in the roads uh, there are different rules all the rules we have to follow properly otherwise we will get the we will meet with the accident so what are the road rules we uh, we should always cross the road from the zebra crossing we should always follow the traffic rules we should have before to crossing the road we have to see our left and right both very well so that we can cross the road and we have to keep in our mind what are the uh, meaning of the different kind of sign suppose there is a different type of signs are there one way uh, somewhere you will see two arrows are there which shows the one way and uh, one u type arrow which is being cut down that is for the no u turn there is no parking is also given and somewhere we will uh, see the work is on the progress so we should not enter that road so there are different kind of signs even somewhere there there is uh, just hump is being given so that is the uh, sign for the speed breaker and you have to slow down your speed so there are different kinds of sign which shows us different type of meaning and we should know all this meaning so that we can follow all the traffic rules very well understood now there are few rules about the fire related with the fire if the minor burns are there that time you have to use some you at first you have to walk the area which are uh, which is being burned uh, if the minor uh, type of uh, burns are there you have to wash the area and use some antiseptic cream if you don't have any antiseptic cream then then uh, in that time you can use a paste make, uh, made up of baking soda and water okay and uh, if the uh, burn is go for the doctor and before that we have to wash the uh, we have to see it depends know which kind of burning it is if it is a chemical burning that time we have only wash the area with the plain water not from any kind of antiseptic cream or no uh, other type of uh, uh, creams we should not apply on the uh, on that burn part but that and we have to immediately go for the a doctor's help okay or uh, we can only wash the area with the simple water okay now if we have got some kind of fracture that time we have to at first we have to uh, make the area or that part very stiff or uh, you should not have to move that part of the body so vigorously that uh, in this case it will the uh, amount of the crack or the crack will become increased so uh, that time we have to take care of it if uh, there is any kind of crack is being or the fracture is being uh, happened or occurred in your hand that time we have to use a sling and we have to keep our hand within that uh, triangular piece of cloth and we have to give a stiff hardboard or a, a stiff uh, pieces of the, or the uh, two three bunch of paper just uh, below that uh, cracked area or that fractured area so that it cannot be moved frequently okay these are of the uh, simple kind of um, precautions we have to take and if uh, the fire is being caught by the area or it is a severe area then uh, the fires are flaming up too much that time we have to call the uh, fire brigade which number is 102 and if the we have to see if the burning case or the somewhere the objects are burning due to the chemicals that time we don't have to use anything uh, just uh, chemical or the to throw the mud or sand and if paper or wood is burning that time only we can uh, give throw the water on it if somebody is being uh, caught fire or somebody is being um, catch fire by somehow if being uh, be, uh, wearing a synthetic or, or something that time that person has to roll on the roll on the um, roll on the surface or roll on the um, i mean surface uh, surface of the room or anywhere so that it uh, it will become detached from the um, from the air connection 
and uh, uh, the flames should be no flare up it will become uh, off okay so these all are the simple precautions we have to take in our mind and if any kind of a snake bite is there that uh, that time we have to tie a tight uh, knot just above that um, biting place so that the poison cannot reach within our heart that will be fatal so in a very um, quick revision we these all are the important things we have revised now i will ask you some of the questions uh, which are in the mcq pattern so you go through the chapter you don't use only the mcq questions only the fill in the blanks learn and giving the exam you have given one exam in pt1 so this is the pattern or the mcq pattern you will get all the questions and you have to uh, always go through the chapter thoroughly so thoroughly so that from anywhere from any part of the chapter if you will get any mcq question you can do it well because when you read it thoroughly when you will go through the chapters thoroughly then you will be able to do all the answers quickly and very well but all the long questions and that but you have to go through all the answers all the mcq questions as well as the long and short answers because maybe the mcq question you will get from your question answers okay so go through all the answers go through all long answers go through your mcq go through your fill in the blanks all the questions whatever in the exercise you have to revise that as well as you have to read the chapter very well okay then you will able to give all the answers now the first one is in the revision part being careless on the road uh, it can lead to serious what a jam illness accident all of them what it would be it should be uh, you can say it is jam but it is given here now being carelessness so when we are careless there will be no jam there will happen only when it will be accident because when we are not alert when we are careless that time accidents occurs isn't it so the this accident will happen next one is two number the sign on the roads are called zebra crossing traffic sign or traffic light these are not related to light so these all are the traffic sign so there may be any kind of sign is called the traffic sign which is for our safety given on the all the crossings we can see this type of signs okay now third one is we should use dash to cross the road footpath zebra crossing and vehicle i hope you know this we always should have to cross the road from this zebra crossing so zebra crossing is the correct answer and next if we we'll see in case of short circuit we should switch off so in say uh, in case of short circuit we should switch off what air condition fans supply so if there is a short circuit always we have to switch off the main supply of the electricity in our home okay that will save our life that will save all the uh, electrical appliances uh, they will not get destroyed next one we will see which of the following are poisonous water insect killers or the toffees we know pesticide and insecticides both are poisonous due to these the this pest and the insects are being died and they are being killed so uh, this is the answer this is insect killer next one is when a bone gets broken or cracked so it is called bleeding fractured or a sprain a sprain is when swelling is there but when is uh, any kind of bone is being cracked that is called fracture that all i hope you can do well next one is in chemical burns wash the affected area with detol burnol or water it should be water because we know uh, already the chemicals are on the skin surface and when we will again apply some chemical that will become worse so we you have to wash the area only with the plain water okay so these all type of answers mcq questions you will get in your uh, paper or in your uh, for assessment and the only difference is that in first pt1 you have to attempted only 20 question and now you have to attempt uh, 50 questions uh, so the time period will be become increased and you i think you will able to do all the answers but go through the chapters very well in our live class we will revise the chapter again okay that's all for the day thank you 
go through your revisions and uh, study well okay and have a nice day for your festival and a very very happy children's day okay